Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at using the law of sines. So we have the problem in triangle ABC, A equals 9, the measure of angle A equals 35 degrees and the measure of angle C equals 105 degrees. And we need to find side C to the nearest hundredth. So for this problem we're going to make use of the law of sines and just a quick explanation. We would use the law of sines when we have all of the interior angles of a triangle and one of the sides. So this is a much easier alternative to find one of the missing sides of a triangle. So the way that it works, the law of sines is a proportion of some sort where it compares the angles to their opposite side lengths. So for instance we have this, the ratio of sine of angle A to side A. This is equal to the ratio of sine of angle B to side B which is also equal to the sine of angle C to side C. So those three ratios are equal. So we could use this to solve this problem, but first we're going to draw a picture of what's going on in the problem. So we have triangle ABC. So we can label these vertices. We have vertex A, B, and C. And we know that the measure of angle A is 35 degrees. So we can label this angle here 35 degrees. And we have the measure of angle C is 105 degrees. And we were also told that the length of side A, which is located opposite of angle A, is equal to 9. So now we need to use this information to find the length of side C. So what we're going to use is the law of sine. So we're going to use sine A over A. So we have the sine of angle A is 35 degrees. So we have sine of 35 degrees over 9. This is our first ratio. And we can set this equal to the ratio of sine of angle C. So we have the sine of the measure of angle C is 105 degrees. So we can call this 105 degrees divided by the length of side C, which we don't know. But remember, with any equation you're using, you always want to reduce it to one unknown. Notice how we have three pieces of information that we do know. We know the two angles and we know one of the side lengths. So we're using those three pieces of known information to find the one unknown. So now to solve for, to solve for little c, we could cross multiply and set up a new equation. So we could call this equation one. For equation two, we're looking at c times sine 35 or sine of 35 degrees, the units of measurement are important, is equal to, and now we have 9 times sine of 105 degrees. So we have 9 times sine of 105 degrees. So now in order to solve for lowercase c, we're going to divide by sine of 35 degrees on both sides. And now on the left hand side, when we divide by sine of 35 degrees, sine of 35 degrees divided by sine 35 degrees will cancel out. So for the next line, we have that C is equal to 9 times sine of 105 degrees divided by sine of 35 degrees. Now you could evaluate sine of 105 degrees and sine of 35 degrees beforehand, but I like to save it all for the last step because it's much easier to just punch this entire thing in your calculator. But just make sure that you close your parentheses around 105 degrees. So when we punch these values in our calculator, make sure that we're in degrees and not radians. We should get C equals 15.156 six three six and this decimal will continue on but since we need to round to the nearest hundredth we're gonna highlight up to the hundredths place and we're gonna look one digit to the right so when we round this we're gonna have fifteen point one and now we're gonna round up to one six so our final answer the length of side C to the nearest hundredth is fifteen point sixteen so this is how we would use the law of sines, you just have to be very careful and just remember that it's a ratio comparing the sine of an angle to the side opposite of that angle. And we could use any one of the angles corresponding to their opposite sides. So this is our answer, we have C equals 15.16.
Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on using the law of signs. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.